Hey everybody, Les Butler here on uh, southerngospel365.com today, still in the studio with Faithful Crossings. And I uh, said yesterday that uh, today we were going to talk about some things that's happened since our tracking session. That's when all the musicians get together and we record the band part of the record and then normally the artists will come back to sing. And we tracked when? When was that? Uh, was in the June? May? May? End of May? End of May. And so here we are at the end of July. So. In a couple months' time, which of course we've all lived enough life to know that your life can change in two moments of time. But in, in a couple months here, there's been some dramatic changes, and uh, I'll, I'll kind of let you take it from there. When you were here, uh, we were tracking, you know, everybody's healthy, all is well, and then all of a sudden. Uh, all of a sudden, I just I started having some, uh, some eye trouble, and I thought... The worst case scenario in my head was uh, some eye surgery and I went to the hospital and had it checked out and found out I didn't need surgery but that I did have uh, multiple sclerosis. So through, through that process we found out that I have multiple sclerosis and so that's been kind of a, a life shaking event and yeah. kind of makes you step back and think a little bit about what the future holds and what God's got planned. and. Yeah. Uh, so we've been just trying to wrap our heads around that and trying to pray and, and seek what God is leading us to and uh, why he's put us on this path. We don't know yet. We don't know where the path is going to lead us and we're just taking it one step at a time and yeah. Yeah. knowing that God has got it all under control and he's got a plan and he knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, uh, as we uh, we talked a bit about this yesterday, and I said, you know, God knew this day was coming before you were in the womb, and so it did, nothing surprises uh, the Lord. And so, um, it, it, it's I kind of, as an outsider looking in, s saw some unique things, such as that it would this would happen at a time where in the middle of working on something that we're doing what we can do our best to please the Lord and to shine a spotlight on Him and to do things for Him and move forward for the cause of Christ. And bam, multiple sclerosis. Uh, but you know what? You've got something that the Lord's helping you through right now that others are going through similar thing, maybe the exact same thing, sometimes maybe not the exact same thing, but similar health issues in their life. Absolutely. other issues in their life. And now, you haven't gone to the end of this, so you don't know exactly where the Lord's taking you, nope. but you're on this journey, and as you're going out and singing and so forth, you, you probably can talk about your journey from a stage yeah. and have some people look at you and go, yeah, yeah, if, he's, if the Lord's helping him, man, he can help me. That's right. That's, that in a, in, a, in a kind of a weird way of looking at it, it has to bring maybe a little solace to you. Some purpose, some extra purpose. It does, it does. Um, you know, knowing that God has our lives planned out. He doesn't always trust me with the details because yeah. I, I tend to, to overthink for God because uh, yeah. I think I think, well, this is what he wants me to do. Then, you know, I'm this what I'm going to, this is the best way to get there. So yeah, I'm yeah, gonna, let me help him with that. And, you yeah, know, yeah. that's not generally how God likes me to do that. And so uh, I really have to fight that urge. But um, yeah. with, with something like this, you know, uh, this is a way to keep me dependent. Yeah, and that's something that I really, really need and covet in my in my walk with God. I'm with you. Is yeah. dependency on Him daily. Yeah, yeah. And early on, when I first got diagnosed, I put out a Facebook post and I said, you know, however many days I have left, I will live every day to serve Him. There we go. Amen. No matter if I'm in a bed, if I'm walking around. If I'm as healthy as a horse, yeah. I'm going to live every day for him. The good days and the bad days. Good days, the bad days, Amen. they're all his. Well said. And you know what? He can do it. We can do it. Um, we have to rely on the Lord. There's uh, the old gospel song that comes to mind right now that I think fits. Lord, I can't even walk, can't even walk without, without you holding my hand. And uh, that's true. That's true today for me, and it's true today for you. But the good news is, is the Lord is still walking and he's still holding hands. Absolutely. So that's it for today on southerngospel365.com with my friends Faithful Crossings. Hope it was a blessing to you today.